Hello. In this video, we are going to see how we can set up the questions in OB framework and ask for Bloom's taxonomy. So major problem of our question paper setting is that we address only the first level of Bloom's taxonomy or at the most, the second level, remembering and understanding. And beyond this, we never set up questions. We never test the ability of our students in the higher orders of Bloom's taxonomy. So this, with this presentation, I will give you an idea how we can set up the questions in such a way that we can test the abilities, we can test the learning level of our students at higher levels of Bloom's taxonomy. So I'll go to my presentation. So the Bloom's taxonomy level one is remember. And so this is in, once we set up the questions in this level, we are testing the ability of our students to remember something. And the key verbs which can be used in this type of questions are memorize, define, identify, repeat, recall, state, write, write the definition of something like that. So if you write questions like this, examples, what is something? How do you describe? Why did something? What is the definition of something? If you ask like this, we are at the level one of Bloom's taxonomy. Then in the second level, understanding level. So this level, we are testing the ability of our students to comprehend, understand what they have remembered. So if they are, they are understanding what they have remembered, we are at the level two. And if you want to test at this level, you can use the keywords like describe, distinguish, explain, interpret, predict, recognize, summarize, like that. Then some example questions, what factors or ideas to show? Can you explain something? Summarize the steps in certain things. Can you explain what is happening in something? So if you ask like this, you are at level two of Bloom's taxonomy. Then we have the third level, application level. So this level, we are testing the students are and they are remembering something, they are understanding something, whether they are able to apply what they have understood. So this level, if you use the key verbs, apply, compare, contrast, demonstrate, examine, relate, solve, and some example questions, what would the result if? What factors would you select to show? What approach would you use to? How would you use? So if you use these kind of questions, we are at the level three of Bloom's taxonomy. And when we move to the level four of Bloom's taxonomy, analysis or relating something to what they have understood. So they have they are remembering, they understood, and they are able to apply. And if they are able to relate something in life to what they have learned and they have understood, so we are at level four of Bloom's taxonomy. And if you use the keywords, analyze, differentiate, distinguish, explain, infer, relate, research by using these verbs, you will be able to set up questions at level four of Bloom's taxonomy. Some example questions, if I give, what inference can you make on something? What is the relationship between uh, maybe a phenomena and something? Then what evidence can you find? What things to justify? If you ask like this, you are at level four. And when we come to the level five, evaluation. So evaluation questions encourage the students to develop opinions on or opinions and make decisions about issues based on specific criteria. So the key verbs which may be used, assess, critique, determine, evaluate, judge, justify, recommend like that. So how do you, if you use the questions like, how do you select? How do you prove? How do you prioritize? What information would you use to support? So if you like this, you are at the level five of Bloom's taxonomy. Then, Finally, creating something. So this is the topmost level of Bloom's taxonomy, creating something new. So if you ask, if you use the keywords in your questions like arrange, combine, create, design, develop, formulate, integrate, and organize. So you are testing the level six, learning level six of your students. Some sample questions if I give, what, you, what would be the changes changes made to improve. 
something how do you test what way would you design something and what outcomes would you predict so if you use these kind of questions we are at level 6 so once again i am presenting you a, a list of verbs which may be used to test the students at different levels of bloom's taxonomy so you can use these verbs so this is not a very uh, a rigid way so this is only an indicative list so you can also add some more and you may be seeing that you some of the verbs may be repeating at different levels depending upon the context the meaning and the application of these verbs will also change so this these are all indicative and you can use these verbs to frame the questions to test your students at different levels of bloom's taxonomy so thank you hope you will be able to write your questions so that you will be able to assess your students at different levels of bloom's taxonomy so that we can assess the higher higher level skills they have attained in in our uh, classroom sessions thank you